Well, hello everyone. I'm Blair Bryant with the Stellar Group. And I'm Emily Lomborg. Happy 2023. We're back for our market update video. Is it a new year and a new market? I think so. Let's check it out. Here we go. We're back in real estate January of 2023. Yep. It is a new year. Are we really seeing that much different of a market? Absolutely. You know, in December, which is typical, we saw, you know, mm -hmm. pretty quiet market, although there were still buyers out in the market, there were still a lot of showings happening, right. but they were a little slow to pull the trigger, a little slow to, you know, make any decisions mm -hmm. as even we passed Christmas, even that week between Christmas and New Year's, I mean, right. we saw quite an uptick in showings sure. in our own listings and listings across the market. And now as we've passed the new year and we're into January, it's January 13th, mm -hmm. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Um, you know, we're we've seen quite a few offers come in so far already over the new year. So yeah, yeah. And activity's I think happening. It is a different market, right? As you enter January, we talk about this in our videos in the past, seasonality is always in play. January 1st, the market tends to turn on. Yeah. And we've seen that in under contracts. We've seen that in showing increases. So, you know, that big stat, we're going to kind of focus in on two stats here always. One is the active inventory at the end of the month. So active inventory at the end of the month, December was 4,757 homes on the market. Buyer's market or seller's market? It's a little bit of both, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we're still at historically low inventory. So right. a typical balanced inventory, we talk about this in a lot of our videos, across the Denver Metro surrounding you know, county area is about 16,000 homes. Yeah, 16,000. So under 5,000, that indicates still really low inventory. Right. Yet at the same time, you know, buyers have been a little gun shy because of the uh, interest rates. Mm -hmm. And so there's a little more opportunity out there for buyers right now. So even though inventory is low, we're, the way the market is operating feels a little more like a balanced market, yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah, and I think we've come out of this incredible appreciation home value some people would say inflation is you know been in the housing yeah. market yeah. you know we ended december at seven hundred and seven thousand dollars as the average detached closed price for a home and folks that's a remarkable historic price but if you look at all of 2022 it, it kind of ended the year flat not much appreciation at all however once again great great values in homes yes. you look back to 2020 and 2019 you're way up on value. Absolutely. So, Buyer, I'm, the sellers still have a lot of equity in their homes and yeah. they're not losing equity in their homes at this point. Right. I think it's what we learned. You know, we saw our market last year go way up and then kind right. of pull back, but in flat. Well, the real estate market has started to come back to normal where you're seeing a normal amount of showings on properties. You're seeing, you know, People are looking at the asking price and probably yeah. getting asking price maybe a little bit above. Yeah. I have, you know, for the three listings I listed between November and December, so the story I've been telling the people who are listing now, my two listings in December went under contract right away. One day on the market. One was a $435,000 listing and one was a $950,000 listing. Both those listings were priced accurately and moved in a day. In fact, the one that was $435,000 listed on December 26th. Crazy. <laughs> and we were under contract on December 27th. So it is a more normalized market. Yes. You know, so what, what are buyers, what are some of these things that buyers are now gonna be doing? I mean, you look at well, some Well, I mean, stats, right? obviously the buyers really pulled back at the end of 2022 mm -hmm. due to the interest rates, right. right? And there was a lot of fear. But after six months of decreased inflation, right. we're now seeing rates pulling back. Right. They were at their high around 7%, mm -hmm. you know, around that kind of November time. Yeah. We've now pulled back that as of this week, um, I pulled up some stats from a lender we regularly work with and his mortgage rates today were in the mid fives. Yeah, I was like, Emily, wait. <laughs> so that's going to start bringing more buyers into the market too. Right. And that's going to change our dynamic a little bit. It's going to boost buyer demand, right? right? When now that rates are getting back to a reasonable level, mm -hmm. we still have low inventory. Right. I think we could be seeing for the spring really a boost in the market and maybe have some competition coming back too. So my advice to the buyers would be get out there sooner than later because yeah. right now, you know, there's not quite as much activity as there may be in two months. So there right. may be more opportunity for buyers right yeah, now, we, but I don't think it's going to last. We were kind of talking New Year's resolutions. That's kind of like your New Year's yeah. resolution for your buyers. Yeah. Get out there, you know, take advantage of, you know, when there are some sellers that have been out there for 100, 150 days right now, we'd love to see an offer. Yeah. You know, my New Year's resolution for my, my sellers is get used to negotiation, you know? Yeah. Get used to listing house for a price and maybe negotiating under that and yeah. maybe having some inspection issues that you're gonna negotiate on too. 
but understanding that you have a wonderful real estate market right yeah. now. We yeah. are sitting on low inventory. You know, what's gonna be really interesting for me, and I'm kind of speculating, right, is we went into this increase in value, value so fast, mm -hmm. and people really adjusted. It took about two or three months, and then everyone was in this multi-bit situation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of thinking we're gonna adjust out of this pretty quickly too, where between five and 6% as an interest rate, doesn't look so bad anymore. Well, exactly, exactly. Get out of the rentals. I think we're gonna see a boom in buyers coming back into the market. Yeah, we're just excited to have you back and excited for a good year in real estate. Yep, happy new year.